Welcome everyone. This is the Jenkins User Experience Special Interest Group. It's May the 12th, 2021. Remember that we abide by the Jenkins uh, Code of Conduct. So proposed items on the agenda for today. I was hoping to hear Uli from you on the, the work that Simon's been doing. If you'd be willing to do a brief status report, would you be willing to do that on the agenda? Yeah, it's okay. Thank you. And then the Bootstrap 5 migration had been discussed two weeks ago. Would you be okay talking about that as well, Luli? Yeah, Anything that's to... fine as well. Mm -hmm. All right. And then I have bad news on this one that I'll share when we get there. And multiple pipelines for a single branch. Any other, Damien, are you okay with that topic still being on the agenda? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other topics that need to be added to the agenda? Hello. Hello, Oleg. <laughs> Thanks for joining. All right. Oh, so, recording. sorry. Oh, uh, yes, we are. Uh, so, Uli, if you want to go ahead, I'm going to take notes and we'll let you share how Simon's work is proceeding and sort of next steps, etc. Okay, I, I don't have a demo today, but uh, actually, we are now implementing the first dashboards. And the first dashboard we are trying to implement is in the warnings plugin. So he is implementing this extension point that we can show for each pull request the number of new warnings that have been yeah, created is a little bit positive. So um, yeah, you see the new warnings and you can see it in kind of an yeah, it's a pie chart or something like that. We would like to use that visualization. So this is uh, already working quite well. So we are not working with uh, yeah, fake data. It's a real data on a real build currently. And what we've also done, we, um, we extracted the drag and drop dashboard. This, uh, I think it's called Muri. I'm not sure of the spelling and I can change it afterwards. So, and this is now an external plugin. So we can use it in other views as well. So this is one thing I would like to do if I find some more spare time uh, to see if this view concept can be used, for instance, in the build view, where we have a lot of yeah, boxes lying around, which some are interesting, some are not interesting. So maybe we can use that concept there to rearrange a lot of things. But this is just an idea. I need to make a proof of concept. So, so this is currently the state. Um, yeah, I, I think it's all. So for this topic, um, maybe there are some questions. I don't know from others. For me, another question recommendation is once you have uh, something demoable, I watched uh, the recording of the previous user experience and even though it uh, looked very interesting, mm -hmm. my recommendation would be uh, to send a message uh, to the developer mailing list. Mm -hmm. I talked about it uh, with the student um, in Gitter because uh, we had a follow up uh, regarding hosting request. Mm -hmm. uh, so if for we ready, I would advise to do it uh, rather earlier than later because it could help to get feedback. Mm -hmm. and That's fine. Yeah, yeah. The previous uh, SIG uh, recording already looks pretty good, at least for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I was about acting on that, uh, just too many things to handle. Okay. Yeah, I thought it would have would be helpful to have some real data in it and not only fake data. So, um, but well, I hope well, we if will... you prefer to wait, uh, let's wait. Because, but yeah, yeah. my interpretation that uh, yeah, in late May, in late May, people start going to vacation, and then it will be much more difficult uh, to get feedback. Okay, that's fine. Maybe it's a bit different in uh, German universities, but uh, in our case, uh, late May, and yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, 
I, I was wondering if there was a, if we ought to look at the, at the view count on the, compare the view count for last recording compared to other recordings, because I have this, this suspicion that that demo that you, that Simon provided last time has made last week's meeting much more popular in terms of view count. I may look at it separately after the meeting. I, uh, I do don't think because uh, there was no agenda in the meeting. There was no description. There was no thumbnail attached to the meeting. So if you ask me as someone who manages social media, then uh, this demo hasn't been promoted at all. It is okay. what exactly I discussed with Simon, uh, but yeah, I didn't follow up on that. Mm -hmm. And no, no dispute that it hasn't been promoted. I was just wondering. So yeah. now you've inspired yeah, my me. I advice just checked. The team would be to publish, to always publish recordings with description, because yeah. otherwise nobody will watch them. Yeah. And in this case, it, I just did the check. It got about twice the number of views of a typical UX SIG meeting, even without promotion. So. Uh, I yeah. got even feedback personally about the new dashboard, and that's already quite fine. <laughs> Good. All right. Great. Uh, Uli, you want to go ahead with the state of Bootstrap 5? Yeah. Um, okay, yeah, Bootstrap 5 is uh, now officially released. So the JavaScript uh, libraries, I integrated it in a plugin and released the plugin. It's now available in the update center. And yeah, plugins could already use it. There is one missing, missing link, which is the data table support, because I'm also using a data tables on the JavaScript side to show my warnings, for instance. And this library has not yet been ported to uh, Bootstrap 5. So if I would release everything now, it would look a little bit weird. So I'm still waiting for the data tables uh, library to get up to Bootstrap 5. And in all my plugins, I have a pull request which use the new features and everything is looking quite fine. So um, maybe I can show you some details if I can share my screen, if it makes sense. So um, let me see, I share the screen. Okay, I think I take the whole screen. So. Um, okay, now you should see my Jenkins instance. This is right. No. Yes, we can see it. Ah, okay, sorry. Uh, I I don't see the pictures anymore because. Right. <laughs> okay, so uh, what I've now uh, what I've done now I, I'm using a Bootstrap five, for instance, on the job view here, where we see all these trend charts, and I try to. Uh, make these trend charts configurable because currently they are just um, yeah there is no user configuration available and what i've done now is i'm using uh, here you see this uh, configure button for each of these charts and if you press the button i'm now creating a configuration dialog for the trend charts so you can for instance say okay how many builds i would like to see in this trend chart and you can save it and then all our, the trend charts are generated uh, in a new refresh uh, ajax call so it is now possible to uh, you know to redraw these charts and to configure this chart and one thing i want to add is so you can choose which chart you would like to see etc and in order to do it, I'm using some bootstrap components, which yeah, make it quite easily to develop uh, user interfaces on the client side. So let's see another example. Mm. Oops, sorry. This one is, uh, for instance, one of the warnings, the trend chart. And here you can also navigate and now configure the trend chart and 
make some in things which make sense for instance if you want to see only a few bills or you want to see all bills etc so this is working quite well and yeah let's see so mm, the only thing what is not working is for instance here these data tables you see here we have the select box it looks a little bit weird currently because it's not yet ported to uh, bootstrap 5 but everything else is uh, working and hopefully i'll get everything done in the next two or three weeks so it, 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 this will make uh, user interfaces on the client side much easier i think so yeah i think yeah that do you have any questions on this topic so maybe one sentence uh, what maybe makes sense is we discussed this i think a half year ago already if it would make sense to use bootstrap a little bit more in jenkins because i think we are inventing the wheel uh, again and again and trying to you know make user interfaces based on our own components and yeah maybe it would make sense to use such a framework which is solid proven in, in a lot of uh, web pages a little bit more so it's quite easy to use it uh, and to yeah all my views in my warnings plugin are using bootstrap for instance the cards etc and it's quite simple to use it and to make a user interface which is a little bit more appealing than the standard in jenkins so, so this is said something that, I want to yeah, push forward. And, and you said that data tables support is needed. Is that from the data tables project that you'll, you need to wait for that? Or is that something that's yeah. changes that need to be made in our code or? No, it's something they, they need to change because the CSS files are only ported for, or are only available for Bootstrap 4 and uh, and this is an open source project project so yeah we need to wait i, I can and, release uh, it currently but it looks and yeah it's not really a, a real bug but it's, but it's not looking so fine as it could yeah what, what you were showing looked looked quite usable it certainly looked, didn't look any worse than many of the other components that we the, with which we interact mm -hmm. so so it's it's not that the, the non-support of Bootstrap Five by data tables breaks the user interface. No. It, it just doesn't render as nicely yeah. as you would like it to. Yes, it's just the uh, CSS files which need to be adapted because some attributes changed and now. Yeah. But everything else is working uh, out of the box. So, are there any other questions? Excellent. Great okay. work. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. So next topic I had was my be being here to share the challenge that I had proposed to do a dev environment setup session with Uli sharing how he does online setups for, for or how he does setups for his students so that they can become contributors much faster and much easier. Unfortunately, my schedule has, has become overloaded and I'm just not gonna be able to do it. I would love for others to be willing to host it. Uli, are you still, would you still be okay with doing one of these sessions? My, my apologies for being so so long in, in not getting this proposed, not getting an abstract proposed or anything. Uh, for, for me, it is really fine because I already said to you that my time limit currently is really tough as well because the, yeah, the semester is ending and I need to prepare the exams, etc. Yeah. So, so I'm, no meetup for now, right? Yeah, it would be okay. So Okay, okay great. Okay, then uh, I will disconnect, but just in case we onboard more uh, event hosts. So if somebody wants to make a presentation, we have uh, newcomer event hosts and we can ba balance this work work so any topic is welcome um, especially if you want to organize a small meetup or just for practice uh, yeah we can do that and i have to run great thanks thanks all okay then damien we had this ongoing topic with multiple pipelines anything you'd like to share there yeah no i didn't have much time to 
to get into that topic, Alas. All right. Thank you. Any other topics we should be reviewing? Roman, anything from you that we need to be aware of? Uh, not really. I just was showing here just to see what you guys were discussing and, and see if I can contribute something, but uh, nothing special to report. All right. Thank you. Well, thanks for being here. Thanks very much. Uli, thank you as well. I think we've reached the conclusion of today's session. I propose we end it and we'll continue our separate conversations in Gitter and email. Okay. Sounds good. Right. Good to see you all. Bye-bye. Have a Thanks, good day. Thanks, everybody.